Okay, this video is going to be on uh, using a voltmeter to uh, troubleshoot problems in a vehicle or in your house. The basics of it, uh, these are uh, handy dandy multimeters. The voltmeter part of it measures voltage. Uh, there's an ammeter portion of it for measuring uh, current. But probably the average uh, do it yourselfer is going to be using the voltmeter. So, on this particular meter, there's two different symbols here as far as your voltage goes. You'll have the V for volts with a little wavy line there. That's for alternating current. That's basically the, the type of voltage you're going to have in your house. Then there's the V with a steady line and a dotted straight line also underneath it. That's for DC volts. You may, uh, the particular meter you may have, may have uh, uh, basically may just say DC volts or AC volts. But if you're using it in your house, you're going to want to put your, uh, turn your button, turn it on, and set it on AC volts. So for instance, um, house uh, wiring is going to have... 120 volts. So if I take this, just be careful whenever you're working around anything electrical. Make sure it's not wet or rainy. You don't want to be doing this if you're wet. Make sure you're not touching anything else other than your leads your meter. So we've got that on AC volts. And my meter is lying to me here, unless. I'm on a bad outlet here. Let's check this guy. So, also what I do is there's a positive and a negative. The black being the negative lead and the red being the positive. That shouldn't matter as far as house wine goes because it's alternating current. Okay, I didn't have a good connection there before. So you can see now that uh, in this outlet I'm looking at as I said, 120. It's roughly it's it's an average anyway, and the reason it's called alternating current because the current goes from a zero point up high to like I think it's 160 plus volt, something like that, and then down. So this is basically, for simplicity's sake, an average. So we got 118 volts AC. So we take that out of there, and we're going to uh, talk about if you're troubleshooting a vehicle. Now a vehicle's running at 12 volts DC. So we're going to take this meter and we're going to set this over to the DC volts. And we're going to uh, use it. That's what you're going to want to have your meter on if you're uh, troubleshooting anything around a vehicle. So to start with, for example, if we're going to check the uh, voltage on the battery, and I turn my light off here, so hopefully there's enough light here. Actually, I'm just going to turn on the light so there's a little bit more visibility here. Okay, so we have a little bit more light here, so uh, you can see what we're doing. Meter is set on DC volts. So, you take your black, uh, say we're, we're going to measure the voltage on the battery. Take your black lead of the meter, put it on your black... Uh, post to terminal post to the battery. Like I say, be careful what you're touching. I mean this is you know this is not a a whole lot of volts. We're talking twelve volts, but if anything was running, it's best just to get in the habit of not really touching anything other than the meter. And like I said before, you definitely don't want to be mucking around with any of this stuff in the rain or wet. So we can see on our meter here, it's it's saying twelve point four eight, basically twelve and a half volts DC. That's what you're going to want in a typical uh, vehicle battery. It's going to be anywhere. A, a well-charged battery is going to be somewhere. I think it's. I think it's roughly approximately 12 to maybe over 13 volts. Okay, so that's uh, what you're going to do there. Now, just as an example, let's say we're troubleshooting uh, your headlights. So uh, we'll say that uh, a headlight's not working. So. You've got your meter here, it's set on DC volts. Um, you're gonna, I looked in the manual for the vehicle here, looked up where the uh, fuses are. There's gonna be two sets of fuses. One of them is gonna be in the uh, 
vehicle compartment, usually driver's side. And there's this, the other set is underneath. And when you take the cover off, as in this vehicle here, first thing we notice here is there's FR for the front. So in order to read properly where the fuses are here, you point this towards the front of the vehicle. Uh, over here, I see that the fuse that's going to correspond to this diagram, you're not really going to be able to see it, but the fuses do line up like this. Uh, and for instance, over here, we'll see that this is the left headlight. 15 amp fuse for the left headlight. So that's left as in if you're sitting in the vehicle. So it's going to be the passenger side uh, fuse. So we're just going to do a quick test just to show you how you'd read that. Okay, so for the purpose of this video, we're just troubleshooting a, uh, a pretend scenario here of the left front uh, headlight not working. So as I just mentioned, uh, I know that the fuse over on the far side here, you'll notice this passenger side light is, or sorry, it's the left as you sit in the vehicle. So that light over the, the uh, driver's side light will probably go out here. So if you just want to focus on that for a sec, there. So. You can see there's still a little light coming through from the signal light, but anyway, I pulled the fuse on. So what you're going to want to do, if you wanted to make sure that there was, you actually had continuity to that fuse, take your uh, black lead, put it on a vehicle ground, or in this case we're just going to use the, the battery post here. We're looking at our meter, so I'm going to go up there. Hopefully my videographer can kind of get a bit of this on the screen. I'm putting my meter, actually I'm going to put the light here so you can see. So I'm putting the lead of my meter on where the fuse connection is for the fuse that I just took out, right there. Okay, so now we look at our meter and we're getting uh, basically 4.5 volts DC, but we're looking for, for 12 here. So now I go on the other side of that fuse, and I see that, okay, there we got 12 volts. So that's showing me that uh, the full voltage is reaching that fuse. Now this headlight circuit, there's kind of a feedback thing where they're both wired together. So that's why we're getting like a smaller voltage on one side. But, uh, so now, we've got our readings there. Um, I'll stick that fuse back in, and you can see up there, I don't want to leave those lights on for too long either. It's all right to, to uh, turn the vehicle to the accessories, just so you can power something while you're troubleshooting it. But uh, again, like I say, you want to be careful about this kind of stuff. Anytime you're working around electricity in any way, shape, or form, I pop the fuse back in, you can see that the... Uh, driver's side uh, headlight is on. Anyway, that's it uh, pretty much for this video on using a voltmeter to check voltages.